This is June 5th, 2017. I uh, just uh, un unpacked this, uncartoned it, as uh, I'm going to be having some works photographed in the next week, I hope. And uh, this will be ready. I will add this to a small compilation, including the University of Washington Hillel Jewish Student Center tour and a couple of other videos that include the uh, this work. reflection from the outside light there. And to give viewers a sense of scale, we're going to see if I can squeeze in down here and stand next to it. I'm uh, <clears throat> five feet, about eight and a half inches, and shrinking because of the age I'm at now. All right. with uh, Margaret and Don Barry and the young man with Star of David Armband in the Warsaw Ghetto um, Under the Wings of God series um, mosaic drawing combo artwork. It is uh, May 14th. Ready? I Please. think Akiva's uh, artwork, especially the mosaics, are very powerful. I think it's important that we remember our history. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Don. Mm. I just was thinking back when we first met, it would have been interesting to have stayed in contact. Uh, I was off looking at mythologies, and you're off beginning this new trip, probably. Well, you had a few years to go before you decided that you're going to launch into this conversation. You're talking about 1976 or? Yes, or I'm talking or, about 76. Yes. Uh -huh. It would have been interesting <laughs> because mythologies and yeah. conversations about. Um, about genocide, they all sort of move together. Uh, people just don't know how to relate to them. Hmm. And it's still happening. And it's, yes. and it's still present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It continues to happen right up to the last time we listen to a program about what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Mm -hmm. I was thinking how the general who was recently accused of genocide down in South America he fainted, so they took him to the hospital instead of to the prison. He has mm -hmm. been sentenced to 80 years in prison. Mm -hmm. He said, fainted. He should go out of the prison and faint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what they mm -hmm. anyway. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Margaret. You're welcome. Uh, more than that. That's me here. Similar black and white, and this is equivalent to black and white. It's just blue ink on light blue paper. But in the late 1990s, seven or so years into the series, it began changing dramatically. I did two life-size drawings of an 11, 12-year-old boy and girl, also from Warsaw Ghetto photographs, and then I did this, and I'd never done a mosaic before. It was all trial and error. In some ways, I had no idea what I was doing, um, which may, um, some people may find interesting. As an example, um, so I did, the drawing was done on the wall of my little Pioneer Square studio on a rectangular sheet of paper. At some point, I decided to cut it into the shape and, and I, I decided to make a mosaic, and I mounted it on plywood, and I built this I kind of wood frame and pieces of wood all around it. And then I was, did the, the drawing was done, and then I did the mosaic. Not having done mosaic, and not having even taken a course, I, I went to Lowe's or somewhere. I bought like two-part epoxy, which comes in tubes, and uh, a complicated gluing me mechanism. You see all this yellow here on the ear? You, maybe the people up closer can see that. 
conservators may be rioting about this in 50 or 100 or 200 years. I'm not going to have to worry about it. But all the, the epoxy kind of oozed out onto the drawing. So when we get upstairs in a couple of minutes, I'll show you how I solved that with the four mosaics I've done since. I've got, we have one large mosaic up there. This is called Young Man with Star of David Armband in the Warsaw Ghetto. And you've got all this different imagery going on. Many, most of which I took from a book I got from the library, black and white photographs taken by Polish Catholic and Polish Jewish architectural historians in the 1920s and 30s had gone around Poland, Lithuania, drawing and photographing, black and white photographs, all these wooden synagogues. And I spent years in art college, and we, art history classes were required that you learn all of the synagogue building, it's inside the museum. So um, something to check out. I'm hoping that I haven't been back to Poland myself since 1985, but um, I'm hoping to go visit again sometime uh, in the next couple of years. So only if you, look, if you get a chance to look at all this closely, you'll see there's birds like a cello or violin, architectural buildings, uh, and an elephant. Uh, all these things from black and white, like frescoes, wall paintings that were on the photographs of these wooden synagogues that were all burned down by the Nazis. You'll notice. When you walk by this, there's like a, um, it's like in the shape of an orthotic, like a shoe insert with all this Hebrew writing on it. Another book I checked out of the library called The Last Jews of Eastern Europe, published in the mid 1980s, and um, and uh, they had uh, a photographer and writer had gone around, especially the small towns and places like Hungary, and you see someone's I actually may have this here. A resident of a town holding <coughs> this. There's, I had it before. Is there a um, laminated thing down that way? A chance? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> Trina mentioned that about the trains. It wasn't like people were seated in trains and like seats and stuff. There were cattle cars that prisoners were transported in. Day and night. Uh, summer, winter, freezing, baking, no water, no food. Um, bodily functions were done right there in the car and were packed in with you know, dozens to hundreds of other people. This is the uh, photograph uh, of the man that I did. Can I, why don't you come closer, please? And everybody will be able to see what I'm talking about. So people can come around this way where you got like four or five of you know, So, um, uh, back in uh, well, five of the mosaic drawing combos of the Under the Wings of God series.
There you have it. All uh, five will be up at um, the two exhibits this spring in Seattle. Seattle Central Community College, April 1st to 26th, and the Hillel Center by the University of Washington, March 20th through May 21st.